escaped the asylum. It wasn't an asylum, but anyway, we, we, we've escaped the retreat and a meal. But our car has crashed. Barry is in mortal danger. I had lost my gun in the crash. Barry was nowhere to be seen. And from the sounds of the manuscript page, he is toast, but that might have been just there to create tension with the axe coming down. But it doesn't sound good, right? Barry! Barry! Nope, doesn't sound oh, good. Man, you're okay! Jeez, it's good to hear your voice! I was trying to get out of the car, but the ground gave way! Man, what a drop! And don't worry, your cutout is fine. <laughs> Forget that! Are you okay? I hit some bushes, didn't get a scratch. There's no way you can climb down, though. It's like a sheer wall. Come on, Barry. Hold on. I'm coming. Help! There's something moving down here! Oh. Barry, it's a taken! Use a flare, Barry! Oh, yeah! Barry, Please. are you alright? <laughs> I'm good, Al! I'm great! Guess you never messed with anyone from New York City before, huh? There might be more than one, Baz. Oh, look at this. This is the farm, then. You're gonna have to find your way around to the farm, Al! I'll be waiting! Barry, just wait for me, okay? Al! I'm not staying here! It's suicide! I'm going to the farm! I'm gonna go ahead and secure the area! You can catch up! <laughs> Don't worry about it! I'm on the case! Now he's a Rambo. This would turn into a disaster if I didn't catch up with Barry. I don't know. He seems more capable than you, Alan. And he's got a positive attitude. <laughs> Alright. We're weaponless, torchless, clueless. These poor trees. Right, so I've got you. Don't go that way. I can see some goodies. Oh no, it's... Oh. oh, come on, man. I've got nothing to defend myself. Oh, even the lights don't work. I just want the thermos! Oh, oh! If I die, I'm gonna have to get that again. Oh, for Christ's sake. Get behind something. Oh, shh. Does that tree count? Oh, beautiful. Just what I needed. Right, I thought we might have found something back there. Oh, just Alan, please. Oh, it's crows. Nothing back here. Need to turn the lecky on, I guess. All right, Nightingale arrests Wake. Interesting. Agent Nightingale stared at the passed out rider. The man was sleeping off one hell of a night. Nightingale felt a stab of envy at Wake's oblivion. 
but he had a job to do. He put the gun to Wake's head and almost became a murderer. His hand shook and his throat felt tight and dry. Biting his teeth, he tried again to pull the trigger. He lost the nerve. Wake stirred. Nightingale would have to settle for an arrest. Hmm. Interesting. Is there anything up here besides that? I hope that? there'd still be a working generator somewhere around here to power up the old lights by the gate. Oh, it's right there. We can move this, right? A checkpoint. I could sense the movement in the woods ahead. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. This a basic flashlight. No batteries. Just no one in the dark. Yes. back here man save all your energy Alan Shh. we need to run dude flip the script get out of here man oh that's nonsense Come and get me. Oh, where's my expert dodging? Oh, Christ, man. I'm never going to get this. Just kill me. Kill me already. I could sense the movement in the woods ahead. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. Maybe I wasn't. Maybe that was an optional thing to do. Oh, seriously? There's one in front of me? Oh, fuck you, man. Oh no, man! I'm not having this! <laughs> YOLO! That killed me. Seriously. Shin splints. I could sense the movement in the woods ahead. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. The anger runs deep. Alan! Alan! Oh, fuck. Fine. Oh, of course they know the better route. 
Run, Alan! Jesus. Sorry. Ah. Okay, it just does my head in the stamina stuff, man. If you were in a life or death situation, you would it wouldn't matter how much lactic acid was in a your car muscles. Was driving away from the farm, headed in the same general direction as I was. Huh. For all I knew it was Barry, caught in the consequences of leaping before looking. Might not be though. Yeah. No matter how much agony you were in, you would just keep running. Oh, hang on. Yes. Me drink the beers. Might take the edge off. All right. Scared of my own footstep noises. Just how I like it. <laughs> The car was heading for the cabin up ahead. It wasn't far. If it was Barry, I would see the damage soon. Maybe it's Nightingale then. Interesting. I had seen it in my dream. It was a strange spaceman or a diver in a bulky suit. Yeah, he yeah, yeah. Been placing the pages on my path. I'd forgotten about that. That weird diving suit. That's like some sort of time travel suit, then. The dark presence at the large. The dark presence followed the choreography laid out to it in the manuscript, growing stronger and stronger, moving like a storm from one scene of destruction to the next but it was still bound to follow the story and chained to the dark place it came from. When the story reached the end it longed for, it would finally be free. All right, these are bear traps, right? We only see them when the torch passes over them. There are some in the off off the beaten path too. Yep, absolutely everywhere. Now, guys tend to spawn when you step in them, right? Alright, I think we're clear. Someone had left a gun behind. Now I had a fighting chance of reaching the farm. Oh god, I nearly ran past the manuscript page. The patients escaped the, lo the lodge. The storm raged on as the Anderson brothers walked unsteadily away from the clinic with the other patients in tow, knowing that this time they wouldn't return. The darkness around them seethed with horrors, but Tor and Odin were unafraid. Their eyes glinted with guile. They knew every secret path, and there was blood on their hands. They had fought these shades before. Right, all creative captives, right? Now 
was one of my only shells. Oh, great. Okay. Good to know. They're indoors too. All that for a coffee thermos. Amputate my leg. Let's hope there's some more shells knocking about. Oh, right. That's going to trigger an ambush, isn't it? Taken are filled with darkness. Yes, thank you. Follow the bear traps, right? I don't know if there's a, a better term for them. I've always referred to them as bear traps. Happy days. Oh, there's someone else! Someone else! Someone else! Come on, dude, let's go. Oh god. I heard the third one. Wasting all my ammo here. Alright. Hey, hey! Oh, why, man? Oh, man. I'm screwed. See ya. I could see the car, but there was no sight of the driver. Uh, oh god, did the darkness drive it up here? I suppose the darkness wouldn't need to turn the engine on. Alright, let's Hello? Scan. Anybody here? Ah! Barry! Ah! Where was that? Where's that coming from? Is that from coming from upstairs? Oh my god. Barry, please. jail the other day. Oh. I went to the farm again for the moonshine, you know? It makes you see they're, they're not going to miss it. They're in the loony bin. My buddy, Danny, I lost him. Something's gone wrong with him. It's not him. 
like a real bad follow-up to a real good movie. The best friend's suddenly the bad guy who, who wrote this crap anyway. Is it Neil Druckmann? <laughs> um. All right. Uh, do we really want to leave him here? Has he killed himself? Or was he killed by a darkness? Oh. Sorry, mate. I thought he was uh, just out of his head, but then I, di I didn't see the blood splatter. Moonshine can kill you as well, but it sounds like the, the ghost of his friend. I've run through every possible course in my head. If I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story, and it's going to kill her, and me, and everybody in this town. No one will survive. Darkness will consume everything. This is what it's wanted all along. It will be free, unstoppable. It used Alice to get to me, dangled her in front of me to keep me going. It was never going to release her. I'm going to change this. Mm. I'll escape. I've written myself into the story. Interesting. I'm now the protagonist. This feels like a terrible risk, but it's the only way to save Alice. I'll be bound by the events of the story just as much as anyone else who's been woven into it. The story must stay true for this to work. There have to be victims along the way. Near escapes. Cliffhangers. In a horror story, it can't be certain that the hero will succeed or even survive. He almost has to die. I'll write my own escape into the story next. I need help. Zane's going to be the one who will help me. I'll make it happen. Interesting. Was that bet? Front door was locked. Just going out the bloody window. The farm was still a good distance away. I'd need a car to get there fast. I'm aware. Hartman considers Mott and wait. For a moment, Hartman considered strangling the idiot. Mott was mean-spirited, but easily manipulated. An emotional infant who lived for his approval. Wake, by contrast, was a far more difficult subject. Mott had given him too much leash. In two days, who knew what could happen? Hartman would have to find a way to rein him in, mm. and quickly. It's an outhouse? Jesus, don't go in there. If Barry wasn't up here, he was probably in trouble down at the farm. For a moment, I felt bad for doubting him. After all, I'd made it this far myself. But Barry was Barry. Really? No thermos ambushes. That's not fair. Another thermos. Oh, jeez, what was that? No, you don't, trees. No. Oh. I've 
will not be denied this thermos. If I'm trapped here, this is a major issue. chance there's some supplies here at this farmhouse. A better car too. Oh, it's a weapons cache. Man, please don't ambush me. Don't give me all this ammo and then ambush me. I guess they need to leave optional cars around in case you screw up and uh, damage it, right? So we've got to get to the farm now. So. Oh, this is nippier. <laughs> the audio on these cars is abysmal. We've been up there already. Oh, Jesus! Where did that log come from then? That was so well camouflaged. I'll check up there again. I mean. I don't have the flag on out. There's a gun up here, nice. Oh. I've only got four ammo on this, so it's a good trade. Sort of. Well, as I'm sure everyone's noticed, that storm we all felt coming is finally here. The boys at the weather service reckon it'll last until morning, at the very least. But pertaining to that, let me uh, read that missing persons alert again. The Sheriff's Department still looking for a Caucasian woman, 30 years old, slim and blonde with blue eyes. She may be lost in the woods and it's possible she's been injured in a car accident. If you see her, please make sure you get her indoors and call the Sheriff. It's bad weather to be caught out in. So car if you accident. see someone in the area who maybe looks a little confused, give him a hand, all right? <clears throat> this is Pat Main on KBF FM, hoping you're all safe and warm. You too, Pat. Oh, let's hope Barry's not in mortal danger because I'm taking my time. <laughs> I've just got this gun, man. Hey, don't hit my car. All that hunting ammo I just got.
tonight. Bow. There's been a thermos on all of these tractors. That's all I can think about. Big boy. They're still alive. I'm not having this. part exactly do you want me to get to? Can I get in here? No, that is a rock solid fence, apparently. This feels like a restricted area, so... Hey, don't throw hay bales at me, man! Oh, no you don't. Seems like a serious enough threat, right? <laughs> Alright, this is just the way we're supposed to go. Just checking for manuscripts. You know the drill. that way. Could I have driven in here? I don't think so. Alright. There's going to be an ambush on this one. I can sense it. that say I'd known the brothers used to be some kind of rock stars but it hadn't really sunk in until I saw this stage Oh, you 
Yes! Good old point defense. Oh! man And roll, baby. <laughs> that was awesome. Yes, yeah, it's in Bright right. Falls, rock and roll capital of America. Awesome. <laughs> uh, it didn't pick up the other coffee thermos, did it? See it glaring at me. Hang on, mate. Now, this way to the farm. Hold on. It's an important collectible. Even though I don't care about these, I'm compelled to pick them up. That's why I, this kind of stuff annoys me because I don't think it's going to have any story significance, but I'm a hoarder. Sorry, mate. That looks like a... nice! Mulligan questions Nightingale's orders. Mulligan? Deputy Mulligan tuned Thornton's chatter out. He didn't think riders were particularly useful people, and a huge manhunt for one stuck him as idiotic. Certainly not worth the missed opportunity for coffee and pie. <laughs> it wasn't even clear what the man had done, except run from them at the trailer park. Mulligan knew he wasn't alone. The sheriff's patience with the Fed was running out.
Well, that was their big light construction, right? Hopefully they don't try and come here. Now it doesn't work. It's possible, though. I used all the flashbangs to get a bit chaotic there for a second. Alright, I'll just follow you, Baz. See, bestseller, no reason to worry. Your cutout's <laughs> good as new, right where I left it. I'll come back for it once we have the place secured. Yeah, that's been my biggest worry all this time. We need to get this thing moved out of the way. This is as far as I got before they ambushed me. Barry! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'll pay for the eye surgery. I got a ladder. Those all boarded, yeah. Some stuff back there too. Sulk all day long. I'm always intense and moody. It makes me very attractive and mysterious. Right now, I'm just standing here because I need my best friend Barry to carry me. But that's okay. I can just take him for granted. I think I see what you did there. Yeah, it was pretty good. You want me to do my imitation of Barry Wheeler? No? Thought so. Yeah. Might make you a bit more interesting, Alan. That's not a deadly drop. I don't need my ankles. Wow! <laughs> you look at that thing, Al! They really went all out with this Viking crap, didn't they? Wow. Look at all this stuff. They must have done okay for themselves. So how come I never heard of these guys before? And this from the guy who learned about Ozzy Osbourne through reality TV? Sleep. We all spend uh -oh, a third of our dreams in this soft embrace. Man. Somewhere Look between memory. fantasy and Hey, living. remember when I got you that gig? But your first real writing job. What got you started? Ooh, is this one or of your episodes? Versa. In Night Springs. Really? So he's saying that we wrote some of Tonight's the episode. episodes of this. The dream of dreams. Ah, that's by someone else. We join Mr. Jones as he explores the endless dreamscape, only to be brought to a sudden stop by a decidedly mundane situation. A long line of people. Hey, Jones, right? Listen, we're gonna have to wait until his highness over there is good and ready. Oh, wow, who's that? You don't know him? What are you, new? He's the guy dreaming us. Well, not just us, he dreams everything. All of this. But wait, no. I'm the one who's dreaming. I'm asleep. Isn't isn't this my dream? Oh, yeah. Sure. Get real, pal. You're just another dream. I'm a dream. You're a dream. The weirdo in the diving suit is a dream. And the girl made of smiles and sunshine is definitely a dream. But I'm pretty sure I'm dreaming this. Well, maybe you're a really confused dream. What am I, a shrink? All I know is I'm going with the smart guys. And they say that's the guy doing the dreaming. Right there. I don't know what that means. It means we keep him happy. No sudden falls. We make sure he has his clothes on when he goes out in public. No chases where the monster is nipping at his heels and he runs like crazy, but his legs don't seem to get him anywhere. None of that. Because if he wakes up in a cold sweat... Oh. Yeah, precisely. So we wait till he wants to move on. Keep things nice and calm. Hey. Something... something's happening here. Yeah? What's that? What? Can't you hear that? 
Oh, God help us. It's an alarm clock. Oh, it's you, isn't it? Please, man. I got a wife and kids. Please don't wait. Interesting. Inception. Yeah, I'll just in someone else's dream, right? Right, let's stock up. We're pretty full of, of like bullets, but do with some flashbangs and stuff. All right, up we go, Barry. The Anderson brothers in the 70s. It's 1976. Madness reigns at the Anderson farm. Contrary to all logic, the head east ingredient of their moonshine is unfiltered water from Cauldron Lake. Oh. The Andersons feel like gods. Odin can't stop laughing. He contemplates cutting his eye out. Tor runs across the field, naked, shrieking, hammer in his hand, trying to catch lightning. Their songs have power. Something ancient is stirring in the depths, coming back. Hmm. The Viking boat looked imposing, almost like a battering ram. Hang on. Old gods of Asgard, Tor, across the states. Probably just crushed him to death. Oh! Where's the guy up top go? Working back here. You all right, Barry? Barry! Oh! Oh, where is he? Tell me Barry's all right, man. Where, where did he go? I think we can make it through here, Al! Oof. My friend.
get ambushed again. Oh my god, how many are there? Oh! Trying to dodge, man. Oh, I'm dead. Okay, okay. No flares, man. Rough going. Come on, spawn. How does that do that much damage? Talk to me, Baz. Talk to me. Wow! Those geezers had quite a production going on. Oh, you know what, Al? If we make it through this alive, I'm gonna start representing them. Yep, sell this stuff online, maybe get a reality show going, <laughs> release a new single. Good luck with that, pal. Hey, you find us a way out here, okay? I'm gonna take a closer look at this stuff. All right, guys, I'm gonna have to leave the video there. We're just uh, touching the hour mark, so yeah. Uh, awesome with the whole like concert thing like the kind of getting a hint at the guy in the di the diving suit who's almost like the the orchestrator or like our guardian angel almost it could be us right from the future or the somehow from the past i doubt that but uh, it could be us from the future though um, something maybe to do that connects it this to control obviously i don't really know that yet but yeah Fascinating. I'm loving being around Barry. It's nice having a companion through some of these gameplay sections. Um, so yeah, we'll pick it up from here next time. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a thumbs up if you did. Just remember everyone, never trust an on crate. I'll see you next time.